right, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Learn a Skill with Me, where each week you have the opportunity to experiment and develop a new skill. I am your host, Malika McIntosh, and this week we'll be exploring the exciting world of electricity, where we'll be building a simple DC circuit as our new skill. Now, before we begin, we want to highlight some very important safety tips. We want to emphasize that though electricity can be fascinating, it can also be quite dangerous. So, for your safety, remember, one, make sure that your hands are dry before touching plugs. Two, do not play with wall sockets. And three, remember to always turn off the light switch before attempting to change a light bulb. First and foremost, remember to have mom or dad or any adult present with you to supervise at all times. Today, to take us through this exciting activity, we have Mr. Roger Beepot. Hi Malaika, hi everyone. Yes, so today we are going to be exploring the wonderful world, as you said, of electricity. And to do so, I have my little friend here, Rexy, who's going to give us a little demonstration of how electricity works. Great. Right, electricity is my friend, little toy dinosaur. If I put him on, we have Rexy doing the Macarena, whatever dance you call that. Moving all the way along to the end of the table before he collapses and damages himself, let's take off the electricity. Yes, Rexy needs electricity to work and his source of energy or electricity comes from batteries which we insert into him. And to date also we have this light here. Our DC circuit as you said is going to be using a battery to get a bulb to light. Okay. Just as when we touch this one and it lights up, it's a battery causing it to light. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be looking at now using some materials that we have that could get everywhere around the house to create a simple DC circuit demonstrating how the electricity works. Ready Malaika? Ready. Now let's go. So the materials we will need today are a simple battery, a bulb. In this case, I took a bulb out of my old Christmas tree lights. Don't go destroying daddy's or mommy's electricity lights. We have a pair of scissors now. I'm sure you will agree with me everyone that scissors are very sharp and can be very injurious if you're not careful with it. So please be careful. We would need some tape and to get that energy from the battery to the bulb, we're going to be using our everyday aluminum foil, which is available in almost every kitchen throughout the country. Okay, so to begin, we're using our masking tape to secure the battery onto our surface. So we stick it down. Make sure it's secure. And we get some tape now for the bulb. We have to secure the bulb onto so that it doesn't shift around too much. Now to get the energy from the battery to the bulb, as I said, we're going to be using some foil. We can secure the foil down with the tape as well to the end of the bulb, to the other end, and then we bring the foil to the both ends of the battery and voila, the bulb lights. But one very, very, very important safety tip I want to emphasize here is that never at any time do we run the foil from one end of the battery directly to the other end. While the battery may seem to be something that's a, a small amount of energy and can't be dangerous, if we put the foil from one end to the next, we create what is called a short circuit and the battery can explode, causing serious injury. So I want to stress that Boys and girls out there looking, don't ever attempt it with any battery. Even those small watch batteries that you see, don't ever short circuit it by connecting both ends of the battery directly. Okay? 
So Malaika, voila, the bulb was lit. Wow, that was incredible and exciting. Glad you liked it. So Mr. Beeper, before we move any further, what are some of the careers Ooh. that kids can look forward to in the future? Yes, careers, the first thing comes to mind out of the wood electricity is the electricians. Electricians are responsible for ensuring that all our fixtures and so on at home function properly and that it's safe. We have electricians who work on the lines overhead, ensuring that we get electricity so our refrigerators or televisions or phones can be charged. So electrician is one of the most important jobs coming out of electricity. These days we have hybrid vehicles that are total, very reliant on batteries and electricity. Automobile electrical technicians is another growing field. Don't talk about the cell phones. We all That's have cell right. phones. We all have cell phones that require electricity to work. Cell phone technicians is yet one other, one of the other many professions that you can get if you explore the world of electricity. Yeah. Great. So boys and girls, there are lots of opportunities and many possibilities that you can tap into in the world of electricity. Indeed. Also, before we go on, Mr. Beeper, can you go over these steps for sure, us? Sure, sure. Again, it's simple. You secure your battery down with some tape. Secure your bulb down with some tape. And you cut your strips of foil. In this case, just at the distance from the end of the battery to the bulb end of the wire that's exposed. Secure it down with some tape so it gets good contact. And then we just touch both ends to the end of the battery and you have light. Let there be light. And like Mr. Vipat said, voila! Boys and girls, we'd love for you to attempt this week's activity, of course with the supervision of an adult. You can check out our video description for all of the materials and steps involved. We'd also like to say a very special thank you to Mr. Beeper for joining us today. Oh, it was indeed my pleasure to be here. We are the staff of Echo Village Anglican School do always enjoy partnering with our national training agency. And I want to congratulate the agency for this initiative in moving forward and educating and bringing the concepts of the trade industry to our students. Thank you very much for having me here. Thanks, Mr. Beepot. So, boys and girls, go explore this wonderful world of electricity. Remember to be safe. Have mom or dad take a picture or even a video of what you've created that simple circuit and share it with us via our social media pages. Now, that's all the time that we have for today, but we look forward to seeing you on our next episode of Learn a Skill with me.